Today I'm going to show you how to style your hair using the T3 Curl Wrap Automatic Rotating Curling Iron. Now there's a couple of incredible features that make curling your hair with this tool it's so, so easy. The first is the auto twist switch right here. That's going to control the direction of our curl. So whether we go towards our face or away from our face. We also have a smart curl timer that's going to notify us when it's time to release our hair from the curl. And there's nine precise heat settings on this tool meaning there's going to be a perfect heat setting for your hair type. Now, if you have any questions or still want to optimize these settings for your individual hair type, we have some videos that are going to walk you through that. Today is all about styling with this tool. So first things first, let's start out with some like general curling tips and tricks. One thing we want to be detangled. We want to have our heat protection on and then we want to section our hair. So I'm going to use hmm, the uh, alligator clips from the T3 uh, clip kit. I'm just going to use one. So what I would recommend if you have layers, or if you have a lot of hair, go ahead and start by splitting your hair into three sections. We're going to take the bottom third to start styling. So I'm going to clip the top two thirds up and out of the way. And then what I like to do from here, right, we're going to, we're going to style in thirds. So then I like to take each half and sort of pull it forward and then start styling. Okay. Now with the actual sections that we're going to use for this curling yarn, we want to take sections that are about one to two inches thick. Basically we want every strand of hair in that section to come in contact with the heat of the barrel. So I'm going to grab my section and then a little tip and trick too. If we want our hair to be curled away from our face, we're going to start with the clip facing the mirror or not facing you. If you want your curls to go towards your face, uh -huh, we want the clip facing us and it doesn't matter which side you're curling, right? It's going to curl in the proper direction. So I want to curl all of my sections away from my face. So I'm going to grab my first section, right? It's about one to two inches thick. That feels about right. I want the clip facing the mirror or away from me. And then I'm going to put my hair in the curling iron. Now I take that auto twist switch and I move it in the direction I want the curl to go. I'm going to wait for that timer to indicate when it's time to release my hair. Open the clip, right? Pull it out. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to press this home button right here. Aha, there we go. Now I'm just going to take this piece and I'm going to put it behind me and I'm going to go into my next section. So I want this section again to be about one to two inches thick, right? I want each strand of hair to come in contact with the barrel. I want this curl to go away from my face. So clip is facing the mirror or not facing me. I take my hair and I place it in the clip just like an inch or two above my ends, pull it through. And then again, use that smart twist switch to get the curl wrapped around. Time to release my hair. I'll go ahead and press the clip and open it. A beautiful curl every time. And now I can press that home button and start again. Now this is sort of a, a pro tip, right? So sometimes maybe we have some frizzies, maybe our edges are sort of acting up. Um, maybe we have a little bit of our natural curl just popping through on some parts of our hair. We kind of want to smooth that out, but we want to do it with a single tool. A couple of tips that you can try. So what I like to do when it comes to just sort of my edges that are maybe a little frizzy or want to kind of be out there a little too far, I grab the hair manually with my hand. I grab the curling iron and I just sort of place and rub the barrel on the section I want to smooth out like so. And it really just sort of calms those hairs down. And then I can go ahead and start curling. Like so. We'll wait for that smart curl timer. It lets us know when it's time to release our hair. Beautiful, perfect curl. Press the home button and we're ready to go again. I'm going to continue curling this side of my hair. So what I've done, right, is I've now gone to my middle third section. And now I've pulled the right side forward and we're going to continue styling here. 
So I'm going to grab my first section. And let's just say for this section, I actually want it to go towards my face. No problem. Instead of having the clip facing out, I'm going to have the clip facing me. Do this. And then we'll press our auto twist switch. We'll let this sit in the hair until we get our timer to indicate. There we go. Time to release. And then I'm going to go ahead and press my home button and see that beautiful girl is going towards my face. All right, let's keep going here. All right, another little tip. So let's say maybe I had some frizz up here or for whatever reason, I wanted to smooth the upper sections of my hair. Not a problem. What I can do is take this curling iron and sort of bring it up and use the clamp to smooth it out. Super easy. And then we just keep going with our curls where we're placing the ends in the clip, rolling it up in our hair, we're waiting for the timer. And releasing. Part of the reason it's so important to section your hair is because we want to take sections that are the proper size so that our curl actually turns out and each strand of hair comes in contact with the heat and the barrel. Another reason that it's so important to section, especially if you have layered hair, is if you try to take a section that has hair that has multiple lengths, let's say something kind of like this, when I go in to curl my hair, it's not really going to get to the top here. So it's only curling the section up to where basically the lowest strands of hair start. Now that can be a really pretty look, but it just might not be your styling preference. So sectioning and making sure that each piece of hair or each strand within that section is about the same length is going to allow you to curl your hair closer to the crown. And also just varying the way that we're holding the curling iron might allow us to get a closer curl versus a farther curl. All right, so let's keep going here. Now that our hair is completely cool, we can go ahead and brush it out. Beautiful, soft, beachy waves every time using the T3 Curl Wrap Automatic Rotating Curling Iron.